Now the unit's designed around five navigation screens. Uh, the first one, and the most obvious uh, and most used, is the moving map. Uh, if we press the page button, we're going to cycle through those navigation screens. I'm going to go through those right now. This is the first one, the moving map. If I press the page button, it's going to take us to our terrain screen. Let me get rid of our little warning. Terrain screen shows us uh, wh where our obstacles or terrain hazards are. It basically color codes them. Uh, it'll show black on the screen if you're more than a thousand feet above an obstacle or, or terrain. It shows yellow if you're within a thousand feet or red if you're within a hundred feet or below the level of the object. Right now, things were sitting on the ground, so everything is red. All the obstacles are red as well. Press the page button. It's going to go to our third navigation page. This is called the HSI page or the panel page, the way I have it set it up. Uh, right now it's showing airspeed, altitude, VSI, and a turn coordinator, and also an H HSI, a very useful screen. We'll get more into that in another lesson. Next we have our active go-to screen, which is shows our current uh, flight plan. Right now I've got a set going direct to Fulton County, Atlanta, 478 miles from here. Uh, we're not moving, so there's no data uh, showing up in here but you can always go to that screen and find out your next leg or if you have a whole flight plan stored in multiple waypoints you can uh, skip waypoints throughout your legs there's a lot of things you can do in that screen press page button for our fifth display our fifth navigation page this is our position page shows the latitude and longitude of our location date and time and then ten fields with information such right now it's got set our destination sunrise sunset a bunch of extra detail all those fields can be changed and uh, you can make them whatever you want ETE, ETA, uh, cross track error, uh, vertical speed descent you know, information there's all kinds of things you can change when I press page again it goes to our fifth page which is our moving map again so that's a loop five pages if I press page five times one two three four five comes right back to where I was the quit button just goes backwards through those one two three four five 